Hello everyone, my name is Leah and I would like to invite you to join me in this journey. In this difficult moment for the world, nature is the right place to seek for serenity, tranquility and beauty. And the Azores Islands are probably the best place where you can find that in double. This is my second trip to this beautiful green oasis in the middle of the ocean. Last time I visited it when I was a student. This time we set up for a journey in a small and friendly squad of four people. The tickets were quite cheap, it was about 55 euros both ways per person. Uh, we rented an apartment uh, via Airbnb and it cost about 350 euros per three nights in total. By the way, I would highly recommend considering this particular apartment. I will leave a link to it below the video. It's located in the downtown of Ponta Delgada, absolutely cozy and furnished. To my mind, the overall experience for the journey depends largely on the place where you decide to stay at. From this point of view, that was a lucky guess for us. We also rented a car to move through the whole island. Actually, it's the only right way uh, to see all the important uh, sports of the island. Magic Island is one of those dozens companies that rent out cars for tourists and visitors. Four days of car rental cost us uh, 300 euros, including insurance and a full tank. I do advise you to consider the full-scale insurance as it's quite easy to scratch a car on the island since the streets are quite tiny and uh, it's difficult to move along the streets even for a highly experienced driver. And now I'm going to show you top three places on Azores that I highly recommend to visit. And the first place is Sete Cidades, that you can literally translate as seven cities. This is a truly astonishing and magical forest through which the road to the lakes goes, tall pines and lush nature. The weather was overcast with the intermittent rain, but that only added to the mystic. We did not succeed to view the main lake, unfortunately, because of the fog, but the view was still impressive. The second sport is the beach with black volcanic sand, and it's really black. Combined with blue waves, it turns out to be even more magical. The beach is surrounded by picturesque mountains. All of a sudden, you find yourself in a cozy bay that protects you from wind and bad weather. And the third sport is the viewpoint. Actually, there are a lot of them all over the island and one can say that literally every corner is the viewpoint, but this one is a special one. It is located on a high cliff and offers a gorgeous view of the mountains on the ocean. I was in the Zorish in October and March, and these are not the warmest uh, months, so I would recommend you to take with you a warm sweater, a windproof jacket, and also take a warm hat, as it could be very windy in the mountains. And don't forget about the swimsuit and the flip-flops, since you can uh, visit volcanic paths, uh, Terra Nostra, where you can swim all year around. In general, the Zorish a place where the soul rests and the eyes rejoice. If you plan to visit Portugal, please take into consideration Azores and include it in your travel list to visit. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye-bye!